three months after the horrendous events of October 7. The death toll in Gaza continues to mount daily. The humanitarian crisis has been called unprecedented and will have lasting effects for generations to come. Moreover, every day the crisis continues, the region faces the potential of multiple conflicts that, unless managed effectively and immediately, threatens to broaden the scope of the calamity beyond what has been seen so far. The escalation is already visible in the Red Sea, with several attacks on international shipping lines putting 12% of the world's commerce that traverses the Bab al-Mandab Strait at risk. These attacks increase the possibility of further regional reactions and instability. The rising tensions in the Red Sea are a clear indication of how volatile the security environment in the entire Middle East remains and how quickly developments can escalate. All the above undermines the efforts by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia over the past years to de-escalate regional tensions and put relationships on a more cooperative footing. What is therefore required, now more urgently than ever, is a clear meeting of the minds of Washington and Riyadh when it comes to preventing further tragedies. The United States remains the most consequential actor when it comes to the medium to long-term security landscape in the wider Middle East. The more pressing issue is the need for a straightforward and clear commitment by the U.S. to end the conflict in Gaza. The U.S. is the only external actor with a measure of influence over Israel, but it has yet to use that influence effectively in ending the hostilities and promoting a more comprehensive and just political solution for the Palestinian issue. The region now expects the U.S. to demonstrate a real and substantive commitment to pursuing a ceasefire as every day this conflict remains. The threat of extremism and a widening regional conflict also increases. The time for shuttle diplomacy, for the sake of conducting visits, has clearly passed. The U.S. refused to listen to the advice of the GCC states 20 years ago in Iraq, unless it quickly begins to shift its course, it risks making those same mistakes again. Saudi Arabia, as well as most of other Arab states, see no wisdom in the current U.S. regional policy and cannot support an unwise policy. It's not defiance to the U.S., but a rejection of a short-sighted, non-fruitful policy.